hi everyone and welcome back to UI Path tutorials today I'm going to explain you the concept of uh, retries mechanism how exactly the queue retries work and with respect to that I'm going to explain you what will happen if I will going to put the max return number from 0 to 1 because basically the default value is 0 always when we create the RE framework or we selected the RE framework template now I have put it as a 1 here let me save it I am going to the queue now let me show you what configuration I have made it here so I think there is something went wrong ok yeah so let me edit it and show you the configuration I have made the max retry number to 2 in the queues I've added one queue item also yeah. now in the process transactions so I have just selected the RE framework the default RE framework I have done nothing but a minor change I, I am throwing the system exception from here so that when the system exception occurred in the process state in the process workflow it will directly come to the catch and then it will come to the final state and go and do the, the changes to the transaction basically it will mark the transaction status to the retry or the new or or the failed so I'm going to show you with the help of debug now I have started this let me check the queue item it the status is in progress for now now the, as this as I'm throwing the system exception for this item I'm going to continue it is coming to the exception now to the catch block I will continue again now it is coming to the set transaction status let me to step into now as this is a system exception it will come to this particular sequence the queue retry is true for this you can check it from the immediate window also queue retry it is true I'm making it step into if you see for now the transaction is still in progress but once it reaches to this activity that is set transaction status and if I check again, if I refresh this, so it is marked that status is retried with the application exception and created the new copy of it. Now, as the IO retry number is zero for now, because it is it was working on a fresh item. You can check it from here, immediate window now let me do the step into where exactly it will go it will go to the re retry current transaction so here is the condition if you see the max retry should greater than zero yes the max retry number is one for now it will come to this decision now it will check io retry number is greater than equal to the max retry so now it will go to the no state because the io retry number is zero and max retry number is one so it will comes to the no state the condition is not match for this now again if i do the step into the in queue retry so it is having the bool value yes it is a queue retry so it will come here into step into if you see for now if i'm going to refresh it it's nothing will be changed it is retried and the new item has been created but once if i continue again the bot will going to pick this new item and now it is in progress and once I continue again and it will go to the set transaction status and if I check for, uh, if it passes the set transaction status it will mark this in progress to the retry with the application exception and then it cloned the new item and a, a copy of new item is created here 
if you see the IO retry number now, IO retry number will be 1 for now, as this is the first retry that bot has picked. Now, retry transaction, it will come to the here. Why? Because IO retry number is greater than or equals to max retry number. So IO retry number is 1, that is greater than and equals to the max retry, that is also 1. It will reinitialize the 0 to 8 but that doesn't matter because every, every time it is giving a, a retry number from set transaction status so basically it always gives the return number from here when we are working with the queues but still we are marking as a 0 here transaction number is increment from here now if you see if you refresh it nothing will be changed but when you continue it now this item is in progress and when you continue this and you do the step into it will come to the system exception sequence and again when pass it to the set transition state it will not going to create a new item but it will mark this in progress to the field because the retry has been done twice it is already utilized those two retries now and if i continue that it will going to be finished so if you see when we are working with the queue, queue retry mechanism and we have given the value to the config file it doesn't matter it is always going to work with that uh, queue mechanism queue retry mechanism so but if, if you really want to work with the, uh, with the max retry number that you have put in the config file you need to do the certain changes so that i will going to definitely tell you in the next video if i want to work with the max retry number what changes i have to make to the this re framework and i just want to uh, make a point here like uh, basically uh, we are using the queue retries there is one demerit there and if there are three line items there and if for the first line item the bot is failed now it has created a copy of it but when the next transaction get picked it will not going to pick the same item for which the retry for which the cloning has been done it will pick the second transaction the item that uh, the, the item which get cloned that will be picked at the end so this is basically a demerit uh, of this queue mechanism if for example if someone wants that if the particular transaction get failed it should retry on that at the same time instead of retrying it at the end when the, all the queue item get performed so for that's why the max retry number is placed here so if that particular type of scenarios comes and we want to handle that then better to go with the this max retry number concept because in that way the queue concept will not work if you have any doubt you can comment on my video and yeah i'm going to create one more video for the max retry number for sure thanks for watching it and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks everyone